Good afternoon everybody. It is a beautiful sunny day out right now. I am working on my tan since it is about 60 degrees out. And we are going to be working on the worm farm or verma compost as it is known. This is the old one that I set up last year that you can see is doing quite well. The cover I need to redo that just like fell apart over the year. But I got more material coming and on the way. So this one will make do for now. It'll probably be in tomorrow and then I'll cover it properly. Um, so we're gonna set this second one up. I've got this at the dump or as some people call it, the transfer station for free. So needed a little washing, a little cleaning. There's still a little dirt in the bottom, but nothing that the worms won't mind. I'm gonna show you how I make the base of it. Then we're gonna go clean the chicken coop. That'll be a different video. And I'll show you how I fill this up. I'm probably gonna get this to, I don't know, maybe about here, maybe about a quarter or a third of the way as full as I'm gonna do it because I don't have any worms to add to it yet. I did dig through that one. I did not see any worms, so I'm gonna go get some more worms. They're probably all hiding because it's cold out still. Based on the weather temperatures, we're probably gonna have freezing for the next maybe four days, and then it should be above freezing even at night. And as you can see, we still have snow on the ground. Deeper spots, it's about eight inches still, but it's officially mud season. So let me put this together and then we'll get shoveling out the chicken coops. So, see if I can set this someplace. You can see everything. There we go. We'll just do it up here. I'll just point you like that. So, basically, all I'm gonna do is I take my little bit of trash wire I'm going to set my road fabric over top of it. This gives the road fabric a little bit of brace. And I'm going to fold it in half just like that. And I'm going to set that brick on top of the hole, on top of everything. So the road fabric will stop any solids from getting through. And it will still allow all the water to go through because that is really high quality compost tea. This one is set up the same way. I'm gonna to have to redo that when I clean this out and redo this a little bit later. But I'm gonna start filling this up. And then I can put five gallon buckets there whenever it rains, get some high quality compost tea to put over all of the trees. And yeah, it'll be fun. Hopefully gonna add a black soldier fly farm right here someplace. So that, that can be added into here as well. And then it'll be a simple out the back door to do chores, head down the barn, go by the garden twice, go back in, grab any compost, stop here, stop at the black soldier flies, up to the chicken coops, and you're done. So let's get started on the next part of the project. Alrighty, so I didn't show you it, but this is a nice light, probably two, three, maybe three and a half inches of brown matter. So it's leaves and some bark and stuff. That's on the bottom, that'll get crushed down. First small load of chicken shit and waste seed from the chicken coop is here. It's probably all I'm gonna put in this. This isn't gonna be that full, at least not yet. So I just took the leaves and stuff from what blew in the woodshed. Chicken shit came from chicken coop and duck coop, obviously. And I'm just gonna load this in. Then we're gonna put some wood ash and biochar mix in on top of that just to add to it a little bit. And then probably next week I'll add the worms just so that it stops, just so it stops freezing overnight before I add them.
right, so this is the wood ash and biochar. It's not specially made biochar. Whenever I clean out the wood stove, which you've seen us fill a couple of times, there's just some larger pieces left over, so I just throw it in here. I'm not gonna grind this up. I wanna see how it itself decays being wet in here. I did chop it up a little bit, but not overly that much. So let's add this, and then I'll get a small top. I'll make some actual proper tops later. And then once I get the worms in, I'll show you all that. Probably in another video. This is just the prep work. Alrighty, I didn't show it, but I went got a second wheelbarrow full so that the whole thing would be covered with some soaked biochar and wood ash. Then I went and I grabbed the last bucket full from the indoor stove of biochar wood ash. This is actually really high quality. It's not broken up at all. Like I said, I'm going to leave some thick like that so that I can see how that breaks down compared to the chopped up stuff because this is the first time doing biochar and only the second time doing vermiculture. So, like I said, about a week, I'll add the worms. I'll take like the top three inches of this, which is where I've been dumping all my compost. Put that in here, get some proper tops on it. Then I can redo this one, and then I'll have two vermiculture going at the same time, in case my uncles decide that they wanna go fishing. I'm sure a lot of you will understand that one. And yeah. That's about it for today. I'm going to go enjoy the sun and finish cleaning out the chicken and duck coop. And I'll catch you next time.